Hello, Peter here again with another colouring book review. This time I've got one of the Art of Mindfulness um, colouring books to review. These are printed by Michael O'Mara Books, um, that's in Great Britain, uh, in 2015. There are actually four in the collection, but uh, I'm just showing you this one for today. I very much like these books. They're a little bit smaller than the um, other colouring books that I've been showing you, but I think that works in their favour because uh, the, it takes less time to, to do them and you can move quickly from one to the next. You don't really get time to get bored with one. Anyway, I'll start off with a look through. Um, this little title page I've already coloured in using um, fine liners, the um, Staedtler uh, Tri Plus. Now, they look very nice in this paper. It's very bright, shiny white paper. But unfortunately, I don't know if the camera picks it up very much, but there is some bleed through. It's not severe, and if you're colouring over the top, I think you'll find that it's quite okay. But it's really up to you to decide whether that's acceptable for you or not. Now, this book, like a lot of the books you see out, there's multiple artists that have um, contributed to it. Uh, I'll go through. We've got... Um, Quite a few uh, contribute to this particular series of books. Uh, this one features artwork by Andrew Rowland, Angela Porter, who I love. She does the um, Colour Me Calm, Colour Me Stress Free um, books. Uh, Angela Van Dam, Emily Hamilton, Felicity French, Hannah Davies, James Newman Gray, Lizzie Preston and Matt Edwards, uh, Rebecca Dinnage and Sally Morritt. Uh, the other books feature other artists, but most of the artists actually have um, pictures in, in every book. So here we go. As you can see, there's a var large variety of um, styles from fine work here to something big and, and um, creative. This one is the polychromous, as you can see. The white um, paper takes the pencil very nicely. It's very easy to blend in and it, and it can take quite a lot of punishment. Now I'll just flick through and show you the variety. Whoops, that's an Angela Porter one there. I'm not sure, familiar with many of these artists, so I can't really point out who did what in here, but I do recognise some. Here is one that I've coloured in with uh, gel pens. Uh, now the gel pens, I've got a mixed um, uh, uh, result with them. Some of the very... Um, juicy gel pens like the uh, uh, Smiggles pens bled through but a lot of the regular gel pens that weren't very juicy but still coloured nicely didn't bleed through at all so you'll have to experiment once again it's not severe I could colour over this and be quite happy with it but it's up to you to decide how, how fussy you are with it now you'll notice here I've got some shading they're actually done with pencil I've just got some Micador, cheap Micador pencils and I've used a little um, uh, uh, box cutter and I've scraped some of the uh, pencil off onto the paper to make so like pencil um, dust and then I've rubbed it in with my fingers. It's a technique I hope to demonstrate in a later video to you. It's a nice way to get that pastel effect if you don't have pan pastels. So there's lots of butterflies and flowers in this book. Now this one is a picture that I've coloured in using um, a type of pencil uh, called Micador uh, Colour Rush. Just give me a sec and I'll go grab one because here I am well organised. I haven't actually got any out. I'll just pop something on there to hold it. Oops. Right. These are the Micador Colour Rushes. I mentioned them a few times on my um, blog site. Uh, I love them. They were $12, which is very cheap in Australia for a pack of pencils. And um, the colours are nice and bright, as you can see, and easy to work. They're not artist quality. They, um, you won't get quite the same depth of colour or blending ability as an artist quality, but it'll, it'll come out very good, particularly in these kind of colouring books. Okay, moving right along. Just quickly through, there's another Angela Porter. I find her work very easy to recognise. If you're familiar with the other artists that I've mentioned, you might be able to pinpoint their work in here. So beautiful. I love this sort of thing. I'm not sure who did that, but I love it. Now, this particular picture I've coloured in using um, Tombow markers. If you recall from a previous video, there's my Tombows, those kind of markers. 
lots of fun very versatile great thing about them they do not bleed through at all there's no bleed through whatsoever with the tombos they're a water-based marker now i've used the tombos on here and i've gone over with other uh, pencils like the micador or polychromus and i've just deepened some of the shadows to give it a little bit more depth that's a lot of fun you can see the background here was colored originally with a very light blue tombow and then i went around it with a blue micador pencil to get some shading in pop through there's another Angela Porter that's very pretty I think that's the only person in this book so if you like coloring people this probably isn't the series for you but there's lots out there that that, that do feature people these would be great for fine liners uh, once again the bleed through might be a problem for some people but if you're not worried um, you could go with your gel pens and just make sure that they're gel pens that are not going to bleed through but they'll look lovely lots of fine work there's an owl I've got a thing for owls owls appear in my um my family crest another big one there's a lot of these patterns where the artists are just drawn one element and then used photo, uh, some kind of photo manipulation program to just duplicate it. Um, I'm not my favourite kind of pictures though, some people like them. Um, I prefer something that's all, all hand drawn. Another Angela Porter. This one looks like it's going to be buckets of fun. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to handle it yet. That'd be great for um, shading, I think. That one's really pretty. I like that one. So this this book, you notice, you've got to really push it to get it to lie flat. Some people don't like that at all. Um, I tolerate it. If it's not too bad, I can squish it down. I'm not too worried. If it really worries you, you can take it to a, a store that sells office equipment or a printer's and have the spine taken out and rebound and spiral. As a, with a spiral bound which will make it easier for you to hold flat right. lovely I like that one too that that looks like it's going to be fun to color actually they all look pretty fun mm -hmm. you know, these kind of wallpaper what I think of as wallpaper designs which is just a continuation as well mm -hmm. Here's another one where the artist has drawn just one element and then it's been duplicated around the page to fill it out. There's an Indian inspired one. Okay, I've got a few more coloured in here. Yeah, there's always fun. A lot of birds. I find a lot of birds in this book, which is good because birds birds offer a lot of um, uh, different colouring ideas that you can use for them. That you're not really stuck in any one colour. Not that you're stuck in any one colour with any of these pictures. You can you can have purple leaves if you like. You can have a green sky. It's your picture. Again, as I say, it's your picture. Do what you like with it. Now these, once again, were coloured in with the micadors. So you can get lovely depth of colour. They're $12 and you, if, if you're really on a budget, don't worry. If you shop around, you can find nice budget priced pencils, which will which can give you lovely results like that. You don't need to go for the expensive polychromous or prismacolors all the time if you don't want to. Now here's another picture which I've combined the, the Tombos, these guys again, with the Micadors. I put the Tombos down first um, to colour them in with just the light shades and then going over them with a darker, brighter shade of the Micadors to give that, that nice shaded effect to give a lot of interest. Okay, we're coming to the end of this book now. The final page, Fish. I hope you've enjoyed this review and it's useful to you. There are three other books in this series if you like them, again with a variety of different artists. I think they're a lot of fun, they're a nice size, um, easy to carry around, pack into your bag 
and um, great to, to break out and colour in in those old situations when you've got nothing to do when you're out about. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you with the next review.